Welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van, and I wanted to start this video a little differently because I, I got a little aggravated today because I thought, well, I'm going to look up what they're saying about velocity banking on the internet now. And so I just happened to pull up Truth Concepts and was reading a paragraph that they had written about velocity banking, and I wanted to share it with you all. I'm quoting. Using an LOC, line of credit, to pay down a mortgage faster can make people feel empowered. It is a complicated strategy to execute and it makes everything feel faster. In reality though, it's just a complicated way of making additional payments towards your loans. If you would just make additional payments towards your loans, you could pay them off so much faster. Well, duh. I mean, if we were making additional payments to our loans, we wouldn't have any loans, right? They don't want us to pay additional payments because they're gonna miss out on that interest payment that they get, aren't they? They want us to have these little payments like a mortgage and let it extend out for 30 years pay them all that interest for four to five to seven years, and guess what? You're going to get a letter that, hey, we're going to do you a favor. We want to refinance that mortgage for you. You've been a good girl. You've been a good boy. You paid us most of your interest. Now we want to refinance it for you. Give you a little bit of your equity, you know, you know, 15, 25,000, and then we're going to take you for 50 more thousand over the next four to seven years complicated i don't think so it's very simple this is not complicated this is a new mindset this is a mindset that the rich have been using since the creation of the credit system if you are just now learning about it it should anger you and you should start today getting your finances in order because it's not complicated it's simple and it is going to make you a wealthy person if you use this strategy the way the billionaires of the world are using it. Get on board. Listen. Let these videos soak in. I have so many videos that will help you understand the concept. It's very easy, very simple. And it's made for you. Not just the big guys, it's made for us, the little people out here, the ones that are making $3,500 a month, not $35,000 a month, not $3 million a month, $3,500 a month. I want you to learn the strategy so that you can stop the paycheck to paycheck filling. I want you to get on board. So let's talk about the scenario that is on the board. Income is $3,500 a month. Expenses are $3,000 a month. Cash flow is $500 a month. The credit card balance stands at $7,500. It's a $10,000 limit with a $300 a month payment at 20% interest, okay? So let's just get rid of that. There's no need to keep letting this sit here at $7,500 paying $131 plus an in interest a month. Let's just stop it. So we're going to take our income. Now I'm only showing $2,500 in income here because $3,500 is the total income, but we need $1,000 out, say, for rent, okay? Or maybe you have a couple of car payments if you don't have a rent or a mortgage. But let's leave $1,000 out so that we can pay the cash payments we need to pay. But we're going to take the $2,500, we're going to transfer it into this credit card. What did that do? Well, it brought our balance down to $5,000. So guess what? It went from $131 a month to $102.60 a month in interest. Now, the banks do an average daily balance. I go over this in about, about every video. 
the average daily balance. You have a $7,500 balance. You put in your payment. It comes down. Your expenses will come back out through the month, okay? So, your, your electric bill, your water bill, your phone bill, your subscriptions, you know how all that comes out through the month. It doesn't just pop, it's in there one day. Unless you're using a credit card and say this is a line of credit, now you would definitely want to put your expenses on that credit card to get your cash rewards because how much is this person gonna be getting in cash rewards? If the card pays 1.5%, $25.50 is going to be their cash reward for the month, which guess what? Knocks this interest down. You're not paying that much. You're offsetting it, right? So think outside the box. People, it's not that hard, okay? So when you have your expenses coming out, now notice I said the expenses were three thousand dollars right but we took a thousand off for that rent that we're keeping out because that's going to stay in the bank because they love bank money you know you got to keep your money in the bank right so uh but this three hundred dollar payment right here guess what happens to it when you do your income transfer it's gone that payment's gone because you satisfied it when you put in your income so now your expenses are $1,700 a month. Add the interest back in as well, and you're back up to $680,260. Month two, your income goes in, $2,500. Guess what? Your balance immediately drops to $4,302. That's $304 a day that you're paying in interest, which is a total of $91.20 in interest which you're getting $25.50 at least in rewards. So it's offsetting a little bit of that interest again. We are adding your expenses back in throughout the month. Then you're back up to 6,093.80. Month three, you've got 2,500 income going in, 1,700 in expenses coming out, 79.50 now in interest going down. As this balance comes down, your interest comes down, right? So now we're at 53.73.30. We're going to put the income in in month four. 2,500 brings our balance down to 28.73.30. Now we're at $2.25 a day for interest, which is $67.50. Do you see how that's dropping? Now we will add back in the 1700 in expenses and we end up at $4,640.80. In three months, we have paid this down almost $3,000. But in less than 10 months, if you keep doing this, income in, expenses out, and I added the interest high when I figured the 10 months, so less than 10 total months, this will be gone. Then you can move on to bigger and better things. Maybe you have a car payment. Maybe you would like to wipe it out next with your $10,000 credit card. Very simple. This is not complicated. When you read things online that tell you this strategy is complicated, read on down to the bottom. Just, you know, scroll all the way down and see if it doesn't start bringing it back to just pay those small payments to the mortgage company. So let me just finish this video with the, a quote from the last on this website that I read about what is velocity banking, okay? This is ultimately, however, a misplaced fear of interest cost. A longer mortgage gives more power to homeowners. Homeowners who pay their mortgage off over 30 years, for example, have more cash flow, as well as the power of inflation making payments feel lower over time. For more on why a longer mortgage is ideal, read our blog post on mortgages. Well, guess what, dudes? This is backed up by a bank. 
We've got to think about what we're doing with our money. We need our money working for us. We don't need to throw it away to the banks anymore. Let's get serious about our finances. Let's get ready to leave a legacy for our families. Build a legacy for your family. Be ready to leave them some money with all of the strategies that are involved with Velocity and Infinite Banking. Get your mindset changed. Don't be thinking like the banks have taught us to think, like our parents taught us to think because their parents taught them to think that way. We've got to change our thinking and know that you too can use these strategies to change your financial life. And I want to see you do that. And I want to help you do that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I try to answer all of them personally. And I have links below if you'd like to get in touch with me for accountability as you go through this system. I appreciate you watching today and I hope you have a terrific week.